Hey, what's going on, everyone? Bobby from Repair Shopper, and uh, welcome to Future Friday. Uh, this week, if I sound different, it's because I'm hopped up on cold medication and uh, I'm a little bit under the weather. So uh, we'll see uh, how on task I can stay during this video. It was brought to my attention when I was speaking with some of the folks in the uh, sales and onboarding teams that we actually don't have a video on the refurb module. And I've done quite a few videos at this point, and turns out I didn't do a video on the refurb module. And while I know a lot of videos recently have been around like new updates and that kind of thing, uh, originally when we started doing Feature Friday, it was also to discuss uh, maybe existing features or features that people haven't explored before. So from time to time, we'll do videos like this where I talk about an already existing feature. You know, if, if you're a longtime user, maybe this will be new to you because you've never seen it. There's a lot of, you know, different functionality in Repair Shopper and not necessarily everyone's using everything. But also we have a ton of new people coming in all the time and it, I'd like bringing up some of the existing things that maybe they didn't know we had. So I guess with that long opener, thanks cold medication, uh, let's jump into the, the refurb module. And so within the repair shopper inventory, there is a what's called refurb manager. And what you're able to actually do is you can take an existing piece of product in your inventory or even something from the customer purchase. And uh, especially in like the cell phone space or the computer space, but essentially any repair business or business that purchases things from their customers. Uh, usually those products that you purchase or you take in have to have something done to them in order or before you can actually sell it to a new customer, for example. So a, a quick example that you know I'm very familiar with is you know when my shop used to buy computers from people or people would do trade-ins, we would have to take those devices and we'd have to either reformat the hard drive or replace a part within that, clean it, and spend some kind of labor on that product before we could turn around and sell it to a new customer. And in Repair Shopper, we allow you to actually track that. So what you'll, you'll be able to do here when I show you is you'll be able to track uh, if you, you will be able to take like a hard drive out of your inventory, for instance, and put it into this new device and the uh, this particular device's cost will actually adjust based on what we add directly into it. So uh, to get to it, you can either create or activate rather a tab for refurbs. Some of you again might already be using it, but if not, you can turn the tab on by going to the tabs customization in admin and you can click and I'll click refurbs here, excuse me. And the refurb manager, what we're looking at now actually will list any existing refurb processes in place and you can filter for uh, specific assigned technicians, the different statuses, so like complete refurbishments and things like that. But why don't we take a look at an existing one already. And what you'll see here is kind of a rundown of what the product is. And again, you can take an existing product in your inventory and actually send it into the refurb manager if you want to start this process or when you do a customer purchase from the customer purchase page you can also send it to the refurb module as well so again you'll have a rundown there's a notes section here um, this right side is where you can pull products from your inventory and combine them into the refurb and what you'll see here is what the, the refurb is. Uh, if you've added any products to the refurb, you'll see them listed here, and then any notes captured. Uh, notes being maybe what the technicians have done or whoever's doing the refurb or uh, you know cleaning, let's say, of the product. They can leave notes to leave statuses and, and that sort of thing. Um, something I do want to note, because you do want to account for it, or at least I would hope you want to account for it, is when you pull a product in, I'm just gonna pull something onto this real quick. Take note of the current total, uh, the current total cost, excuse me. And when you add something to the refurb, 
me select the serial number here. When you add things into the refurb, the total cost will actually, rather should, adjust as you go so that you can account for the adjusted price when you add things to uh, to the the new or existing refurbished product. Uh, this way, uh, and again, this is a cost, it's not the price. So this will allow you to know, because we allow you to track uh, cost on a per product instance level, this will allow you to actually know how much something is truly costing you at the end of the day versus not. And something else too is you can track labor on here also so that you kind of get an idea of what something is going to totally uh, cost your business at the end of the day. Uh, once you're done, all you have to do is click complete move to stock and I'm going to open this in a different tab and we'll hit complete move to stock. A pop-up will show up here. You hit OK. The status will automatically move to resolve and let's hop over to the product page. This is showing the specific instance. I'm gonna refresh it really quick. All right, and what you'll see here is there will be a history and with links to any of the refurbs that uh, will allow you to kind of quickly jump. You also see these links here. Um, in this case, this product was purchased, so there will be a link uh, here as well. And then let me show you again we go here the product instance will be listed here in case of serials or if it is a maintained stock you would click the product instances button in the top right in this case let's click view all and I want to show you in the case of the wanting to take an existing product you can click this wrench here and when you click that it'll send it uh, to the refurb module and you can create a new refurb instance you got to say what's wrong with it and then if you want to assign it you can and then just hit start refurb um, but again the, the whole purpose of this module is to allow you to uh, track what you're sinking into a product when you're preparing to turn it around for sale to give you a, an idea of a true cost there can be a lot of hidden costs with refurbishing things or preparing used items to be ready for sale that a lot of businesses don't necessarily track. And the refurb manager is kind of designed to, to help you uh, account for all of that stuff. Um, it's an optional feature in Repair Shopper, but again, you know, based on feedback I was hearing, uh, I, I figured I'd bring some attention to it. Um, but yeah, that's kind of the, the refurb manager in a nutshell. And uh, if you're still with me, uh, thanks for going on this uh, ride with me while I'm on cold medication. I do apologize uh, if my voice sounds a little bit different than normal. And uh, I hope this video helps people check out the refurb manager. And uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Take care.